What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the BD Juice and Spiritual Truth. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss BC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Aquarius. Please understand this will not apply to every single Aquarius, as every single Aquarius is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Aquarius energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you with a variety of my tarot decks. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Aquarius, I am talking to you. Please be sure also to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cash app, leave a comment, and let me know. What do we got for you, Aquarius? Bad health. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this keeps coming out. But somebody is in bad health. Somebody might be under the weather. Somebody might be laying down a lot. This is you or someone else might be in bad health. I did just have a funeral. My grandmother passed away. Um, that was Saturday. Today is currently Sunday. So yesterday. I went to the funeral. Yeah, like you may be concerned. Either you are concerned about your health or you're concerned about someone else's health or someone else is concerned about your health. It's one of those. Either way, there is a, a concern. And I feel like maybe there's a masculine, the, um, there's a masculine energy around you that is in bad health or isn't as healthy as they may seem to be. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. I feel like you're gonna get a meeting from somebody possibly while you're sick or while you're, while you're bedridden. You might be bedridden for a little while and, and somebody may, um, Somebody may come in and whoever that person is that comes in is somebody. I feel like you might feel like you're not going to find love, especially in a bad health, but maybe you will. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, fl fun flirting, want to date. Whoever this person is, they're concerned that maybe you won't like them. They like you, but they're not really, they don't know if you like them. I feel like maybe you met this person while they were in bad, when they were, when they had bad health, or maybe you don't know that this person has bad health. Um, but somebody is concerned about somebody liking somebody else or Somebody likes somebody else, and the person that likes somebody is like, man, I wonder if they like me. I'm just trying to figure out. 526, trust in a banana. Well, what's funny is I've been seeing this number for the past couple of days. Like for the past, not even a couple, for the past few days, I've been seeing 526. Not to mention, this is five. Two six. I don't know if you can see it, but it's five two six. I've been seeing that number everywhere lately. Five twenty six. Be still and listen. Your heart will hear what it needs. See, listen to your intuition when it comes to whoever this person is. Listen to your intuition. Now that's the side message for some. We're gonna go ahead into the actual tarot, bottom of the deck. I feel like Aquarius, you're trying to get over being upset with someone. I feel like you're just, you're getting over something. It's like, I feel like you're trying to get over being mad about something. It's like you were mad, now you're not anymore. Oh, I think you're thinking about getting some SEX. You may be wanting and needing some SEX. Um, 
Let's see. I feel like you're getting over something, but not quite using your intuition when it comes to it. Maybe you're not using your intuition to something. There's something here. I just, I really don't like doing readings for Aquarius or not, not Aquarius, but I don't really like doing readings for myself because I always feel like, I always feel like it's just, it just, the reading is always like off to me when I do my readings. But when I do the collective, it still kind of feels weird only because I know I'm talking to Aquarius. It only happens with Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like really having a hard time trying to decide whether or not to do something, but you're not really you're you're not really using your intuition when it comes to making this decision or trying to figure something out. I feel like you're just trying to get over it, but maybe it's how you're getting over it. I feel like you're looking at your phone a lot. You're in denial. Yeah, I feel like so somebody is in denial. They're unorganized. They're just kind of all over the place, having multiple things going on, not really using it. It's like trying to get over. Some, it's like trying to get over something, going through phases, trying to get over something. It's like maybe you're not using your intuition and then you go into not making a decision. And then maybe you're making a decision, but you're baking it based off of being in denial about it. And you're all over the place just trying to make a decision. So it's like. You got so many different things going on. It's like, what is going on? What is literally, what, what is going on? What is the problem? There's, you're mad, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. It's like, what is, what is wrong? Like, what is the problem? What is making you mad? Why are you not using your intuition? What is so difficult for you to choose from? Why are you so in denial about this? What is going on? Like, why are you so unorganized? Like you're trying to have strength for something, something that might make you cry, like something that might make you so mad that you want to cry, but you're trying to get over it. You're trying to get over it. I feel like it might be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, I feel like you're trying to gain more wisdom about a situation. I feel like you don't feel strong, so you're trying to gain the wisdom you don't have from someone. Yeah, I feel like you're in between your independence and maybe connecting with someone. Maybe it's, I feel like if you connect with someone, you feel like you're going to lose your independence, but, and you don't want to lose your independence. I feel like you don't want to go all the way because you feel like you may lose your independence. And I feel like you don't want to lose your independence. Yeah, I feel like you know the right answer. Maybe you're just not doing it. And you're really, really thinking to walk away from whatever this is. If you don't, you better. <laughs> 